right, so this number one welterweight contender has found his way back to a title fight. A lot of people didn't think he would get there, and he's made a career of proving doubters wrong. You know, he carries a chip on his shoulder. You tell this man that he can't do something. Right. He will make it a point to get that done. He said from the moment he walked out the octagon last time and didn't win the belt, that I will be back. Many smirked at him. Many laughed. But his inner circle believed that it was only a matter of time before their guy got another chance. And when he got here, he would get the job done. Now, some would argue he wasn't ready the first time around. I think that's probably a little bit too simplistic. But there's no denying he has rounded out his game. He has evolved. He's maximized the developmental time. And a lot of people believe he will have a new champion by night's end. All right, so tonight we get another look at the decorated lightweight champion, Islam Makashev. This is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Such a nuanced game on the ground. Outstanding striker as well, and puts his belt on the line yet again tonight. Yeah, you know, Johnny, puts his belt on the line. This guy, this guy does everything so well. He's so well-rounded, he's so skilled, he's so gifted, and he is so confident in his ability to go and get you. It's that simple. I'm gonna get you. I'll get my hands locked, I'll throw you to the ground, and I will make you engage with me on my terms. That has allowed for him to become the champion, and tonight, he has even more of an advantage because there's the boy, Hasbula. Hasbula entrenched in the corner of Islam Makashev, and we'll probably have a photo shoot later if fans are interested to see how it goes for Makashev tonight. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Sean Shrekman! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC Walter White Champion of the World! Islam Makachev. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Good. Center in Newark, New Jersey. I'm told sports gambling is legal here, okay. and we got a good UFC fight. Oh, wow. The sports gambling is legal. And John, you're right, brother. You're salivating. You're calling the fight, but you're thinking about the basketball game, the hockey game, and John Gannon how to make money at this sports book. But don't worry, tonight we will give you great fights. Brick City. <laughs> Getting the out here. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Strickland's in half goal. Nice transition. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Makashev's back in full mount. Massive shot from the top. Another ground and pound strike lands. Man, great job finding a way out, finding an escape to get back to your feet. Nice up. Strikes to the head. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or his mama's 
about Thanksgiving. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Great job landing from the top position. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Strickland getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to hunt. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Lakashev's back in full now. Setting up a sub attempt. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke right there. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? You ready? Do All right, it. round two. Oh, head kick blocked by Islam Makasha. That was great head move. Oh, man. Islam Makasha going for the takedown. He misses. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Switch the lands to the bottom. Big elbow there, Lance. Another clinch position. Watch for the tricky trips that he uses when he's in close. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Oh, he's advancing. Oh, he got it. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. We march on three minutes to go. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these take these submissions. Strickland's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Well, nothing in the unified rule says you can't strike from off of your back, and he did well there. Oh, and he locks up a triangle. That looks tight, DC. It's very tight. And now he's just got to start passing the arm across, pulling down on the head, feeding the hips, and he will definitely get the submission. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean... It is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it, it, no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Oh, big elbow. Ref won't help you here. The referee will never take a guy out of mount. They will not take fight? a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. Makashev's right back to the full mount here. Oh, the grounded pound is there. 
Oh, nice headlock. That is tight. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Straight punch. Useful. He is going after that overhand right. Oh, back and forth. Go. Let's go, let's go. Nice straight right lands. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. All right, more south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. Nice reversal on the ground. Great job. Oh, could be the beginning of the end. That looks tight. Great submission defense. A full display by the opponent. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Strickland. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Takedown defense is there. Lands a big elbow there. Left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, that's my head. Oh, yeah. yeah. Islam Akashif gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. Oh, gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. 20 seconds to go. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, replay truck has been kept busy tonight as we get you some clips from that previous round, and maybe we can even isolate the strike that opened his cheek up. I mean, a cut on your cheek while it's in a better spot, it is still so hard to deal with every time that gets hit. It hurts so bad. He's going to have to move his head here. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five. Five. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Big left hand. Oh, nice ankle pick. Great timing, better execution. 
All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Nice strike from bottom position. Makashev's going for the sub here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, my goodness, he's getting it tight. Look at him bucking bridge, straighten that arm, get back into the direction that he was straightening the arm and get back to his knees. Great job. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Islam Makasha. Under three minutes to go in round four. Makashev going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pile up. Right away, he takes the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come now. Nice positional control here. Mm, that was nice. Takes his back now. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Islam Akasha. The hard ground upon is paying dividends. He has opened up a cut. He's going for the rear naked choke now. Fight IQ on full display there. Recognizing he was losing the sub, elected to keep the dominant position. Strickland's in half guard now. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Under a minute to go in round four. Oh, he got to his spot. Nicely done. Working out of the half guard here. All right, feet on the hips here. Makashev's back in half guard. Huh. Saved by the bell. There is the final what? horn. He was getting grounded. He was getting pounded just at the end of the round. So you see, he's taking some of this time here to get back to his feet. Only 60 seconds on the clock between rounds. We will see if this young man can recover. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Lunges forward with a left there. Nice job to block the strike there, and then counters with an effective hook. So a nice sequence on the feet there by Sean Strickland. Oh, that's a nice strike. Hook to the body here, blocked by Islam Makasha. Uh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Straight right hand, no good. Nice single. Makashev's in half court. Oh, right, it's a mouth. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Oh, he's getting it deep. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. Kasha grounded pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Side control now. Pretty 
Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Islam Makashe. Now he's going full mount. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Strickland's in half guard. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Oh, what do we got here? It looks like an arm triangle attempt. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. On to the moon. Big right hook there by the champ. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, he's going to try to again. Oh, God. With that, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a split draw. All right, so he came in the best welterweight in the world. Nothing changes tonight. Congratulations to the still UFC welterweight champ. He understands that he is the best fighter in the world at 170 pounds, and he proved that tonight.